recording. Um, I'm actually going to have you read our last line that we ended off on last time and let me know what it means. Okay. Kimi ga werumeto o hanareta tok chiten de nido to modora nu to kimete ita no wa shirete iru. Uh, you uh, we met uh, when you have left we met nido to modora nu to without coming back for the second time kimete ita you had decided so hi shite iru I know yes Nice. Okay. You know what ima means? Ima, meaning now. Perfect. And do you happen to know how to read this kanji? The kanji, okiru. Hai, okiru, to happen. Very nice. You know what shikashi means? Shikashi, meaning however. Perfect. Um, Can you read the sentence for me? Ima. Nanka ga okiru. Hi, in this context, this would be nanika. I'm sorry. Nanika ga okiru. Meaning right now, something occurred or something is will happen. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Kind of funny with the tenses there. Um, so fukite is ominous and it is a na adjective. Fukite. It's not. Uh, can you read the sentence from our book? Hi. Shikashi ima wemeto de wa fukitsu na koto ga okite iru. However, right, uh, however, right now, wemet here at wemet. Fukitsuna koto ga okirite iru. Strange event are happening. Perfect. Nice. Our next word is hakken, which means to discover. Hakken. Yeah. Um, so our story was ha. What did it end with? Hakken no ken. Yep. Can you read this for me? Ima nanika o hak. Kesta. Hi, Ken. Kenta. Kenta. Hi. What does this mean? Ken is to discover. So. So right now, discovering some. Oh, past tense. So discovered something. Perfect. Nice. Our next word is yuyuski, which is grim or grave. Yuyuski. Yuyuski. Is this um, Yu Yu? Not Yu Yu Hakusho. It's somebody Yu Yu. Probably a different Yu Yu. Hi. Because this one right here, I feel like Yu Yu Hakusho is like Yu Yu. But it could, be, it could be the same Yu Yu. I'd have to look at the anime to see what it uh, says. Haken. Yep. Haken. Perfect. Ha. Can you read the sentence for me? Yu Yu Shiki. Koto o hakenshita. Um, strange, right? Strange. Uh, you yes. is strange. Uh, more on the grim side of things than grim, strange. Grim. Yes. Grim. Right. Um, grim things or grim event has started. Um, uh, no, was discovered. Perfect. Was well, discovered. So the Yu Yu and Yu uh Yu Yu Hakusho is a different Yu Yu. It looks like they got the Yu, for example, from Yu Day, which is ghost. So they're like, I want this guy in my name, for example. Yu is in ghost, and then the other Yu as in like uh like a journey or um yes like like yeah. an adventure of some sort. Yeah, how do how do you? Hi. Um, okay. 
Um, our next word is kasanedu. This is a word that you vaguely knew er before, but this is the first time seeing it in this book. Do you have to know what it means? Kasanedu, kasanedu. Something stacked to stack yes. something on top. Another. To stack stuff. Yep, kasanedu. Perfect. And that is a do verb. Hi. Um, so your job is to remember how this is read. How do you read it? Kasanedu, kasa. Yeah. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Tegami o kasaneta. To uh, stack, to stack the letters Hai. on top of another, right? Yeah. Um, next word is jitai. You know what jitai, jitai. means? Ji is event, dai, had a heart character, so something scary. Mm, good guess, good guess. Um, tie right here is kind of like your state of being almost, like your heart, your uh, lungs, or whatever. I don't know. Um, so to oh. die together is your is the certain situation, the uh, present state of affairs, or something. So it's used for a situation that is currently happening. To die. Current situation. Right. So I started with G and ended with Tai, so now you're going to remember that. Um, can you read this for me? You shiki jitai o hakken shita. The grim conditions was discovered. Perfect. Nice. Um, how do you think this word is pronounced? Ma ryoku. Perfect. Ma ryoku. Magic power. Nice. Our next word, sokute, this is a measurement. Sokute. Shoku. Hi. Can you read this for me? Mario ku no shokute o sananeta. Ah, ka. Kananeta. Kasa. <laughs> Kasaneta. Hi. So, um, power, the measure of magical power stacked. Cool. That is what, what it's saying. Stacked. Um, it is a little bit weird, but the kind of idea is that if you're ever doing some kind of scientific research, you're not really just supposed to get the measurement once. You're supposed to get it. Uh, you're supposed to get the measurement over and over again. So basically, this means that we took measurements of the magical power, and we just kind of like. Did it like over and over again, and we got some piece of information. So we piled the measurements on top of we each other. We come, yeah, we, we take several measurement and we compile it into a single uh, yeah. result. Exactly. So that's kind of what it's yeah. uh, meaning in this context. Compilation sort of a thing. So, so. Does this word start with G? What did it end with? Tight. Tight. Die. Tight. Current situation. It's can you read this sentence for me? Uh, ware ware is ware. us. Hi. Ware ware wa weimeto no machi no marioku no sokute o kasane. Hi. Yuyushiki chitai o hakken shita. So we uh, we met no machi no marioku no sokute o. So the measurement of the magic of the town of we met was compiled and yuyushiki chitai o, strange or grim uh, conditions, haken shita, was discovered. Hi. So basically, a strange situation was discovered, some kind of strange event. We discovered something strange, but strange as in bad, right? An abnormal, like grim, a grim, a grim situation has been discovered. Oh, I... um, so next is Gensho. Gensho is decrease. Gensho. Um, so it ends with sho. What does it start with? Gen. Hi, Gen Shou. How come it end with the 
uh, minute, as in a few um, uh, small amount character. Does it it's mean not... that it's... Did you have her grammar? Yes, I fed Rupi grammar. Yeah. Uh, again, Shul, <laughs> to but... I don't know why specifically, but it's not a large decrease necessarily. It's not a small decrease, right? It's just some um, decline or decrease in general. Um, Geki again would be a dramatic decrease. I see. So I guess Genshul. it could be. Um, so now we're doing a kanji check. Um, yeah, you use all pretty well, so I'll skip that actually. How do you think this is read? Nan toshi. Good guess. This is actually nen. Nan, nan nen. nen. Hi. Okay. How do you think this word is read? This is dramatic decrease. Geki ge, geki hen. Good guess is actually the gen, like last time. Geki gen gen shou. Hi. Dramatic decrease. So. So this ended with gen. What did it start with? Gaki. Good guess. Geki. Geki. Geki gen. Geki gen. Okay. Gen. Can you read this for me? Mario kuga geki gen shita. What does that mean? A dramatic decrease in magical power. Hi. Perfect. So this one here, hedu, has that same kanji that was pronounced as gen earlier. This means to decrease as well. And this one is a u verb versus a u verb. So it is r plus u. I do. Heru. Can you read the sentence for me? Nangen mo mae kara marioku ga heri. Heri tutsuata. So tutuata with the stem form of a verb is a way to say something is continuing to occur. So what is continuing to occur? It's continuing decrease. Hi. What is decreasing? The magical power before mm, from before uh, some years ago. Yes. So I'd say from a long time ago, it's probably say for for a couple of years now the magic has been decreasing. So it's sometime in the past, this has started, the decreasing has started in the past at some point, and it was a, some amount of years, we do not know how many, but probably a lot. So for a while ago, the magic has been continuing to decrease. Magic continue to decrease. Hi. You know what this word is? Um. Sai, 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 yep. correct. Sai, shou, in the beginning. So that first kanji is sai. This right here is a new word, not sai, shou. This is sai, king. King. Sai, king means lately. lately. So your job is to remember the king part of sai, king. King. Okay. So can you read the sentence for me? Mario ga sai, king ni natte. Um. Uh, something again. You're right. Geki gen. Geki gen sta. Geki gen sta meaning uh, a great decrease. So, um, the magical power recently. Uh, not the it meaning naru right. The the continuous yes to form. become. Recently, it had become greatly decrease yes exactly so basically the happy come is lately so when it became lately the magic power greatly decreased so it's like a interesting way to refer to time psyching me not that so basically lately this is good it basically it's a way to say lately in like a fancy way psyching me not that become it become it became recent. now it became recent yeah <laughs> Uh, next is sarani. Sarani basically means a lot more than something, like on top of that. I think it's the most similar thing, like on top of that. Sarani. Sarani. Furthermore. Not, yes, furthermore. That's the correct word. <laughs> Can you read this Hi. for me? 
マリオクがさらに激減した。The magical power further decreased. Yes, decreased a lot, further even further. So, so.、Yes. Uh, so, here's our next word. Can you read it for me? Toho ni kureru. So, this right here means to be puzzled or to be at a loss. You're like, oh, what am I supposed to do about this? Toho ni kureru. Toho to be at a loss. Toho ni kureru. To be at a loss. Kure, kure is to come. Uh, yeah, it's the um, kuredu, like higure no kimi, I think. Yeah, which is to get dark specifically. To become, yeah? To, to, to become to, dark. To approach. To, approach, to become.、Mm, so you're right that kuredu can mean to give, but this kuredu is kuredu with this kanji, kuredu, which looks like this. So, for、oh, example, he got kuredu. The sun、um, sets. It gets darker. He got kuredu. That's the character from the, the,、um, the Twilight、yes. District thing. Yes. Kusara. No kimi no. Kure. Yes. So, this means、Kure. to get darker. Toho is the way or your destination or something like that. So, your toho ni kuredu is literally your destination gets dark. This is used in Japanese to mean to be puzzled, to be at a loss. Your destination is dark. Where are you、uh, going? I don't know. Destination is、Larry. dark. Darkening. Hi. Hi. Kureru. Hi. Are you ready to read the line from our book then? Hi. Mo nane mo. Mae kara heri tsutsu ata. Right. もう、even now、uh, 何年も前から、from some time ago, from some years ago, ヘリツツあった、continuing to decrease.、はい So, in this context, context, mo is more like already. Version、right, of mo, right. mo is multiple meanings. So, that's, that's what it means in this context. So, it, the magic has already been continued to, discrete, to be decreasing from many years ago. Hi. And it's, it's continued to do it so. so. And, saiki ni natte in recent time. Sarani, furthermore, geki gen shi, even more decreased greatly. Ware ware, majutsu shi wa, our magicians, toho ni kurete iru, are at a loss. Exactly. So basically, this is saying that the geki gen, the dramatic decrease, only happened lately. But in the past, Magic has always been decreasing. So we had some magic and it's just going down. It just went down a little bit and it was continuing to do this. However, lately, when it became lately, it went swap, did a dramatic decrease. And we magicians are at a loss.、Oh, what's going on with the magic?、Oh. Just keep dropping. So, so.、Okay. so our next word is tozen. Tozen is like naturally. Tozen. Tozen. Um, so you're going to have to remember to start with to. You know what it ended with? Zen. Tozen. Tozen. Zen. Okay. Can you read the sentence for me? Dorobo wa chikara ni natta. The thief power. The thief power became. Thief became powerful. That's a good guess. That would be a different word. This is literally just a thief became power. This is used in Japanese to kind of say you become somebody's power, like to help somebody, in other words. Chikara ni naru. 
Um, you'll see this a lot in anime, especially in like Isekai, when someone's like saying, I will help you. They'll be like, I'll become your power, is what they say. Um, so it's kind of like, become someone else's power. So the thief becomes a power. In the contextually in Japanese, that means to help somebody, in other words, to lend a hand, basically. Hi. Um, so how do you read this word? Tozen Nagara. Hi. So Tozen Nagara is naturally, so Tozen on its own is not, is a noun. And rather than saying Tozen me or something like that, to turn into an adverb, what we traditionally say is Tozen Nagara is kind of like an idiom. It's basically saying, well being natural, meaning naturally. Tozen <laughs> Nagara. Tozen Nagara. Okay, so it ended with Zen. What did it start with? To. Hi, hi. Okay, you probably know these, especially since you talk about kududu ear there, but this is kududu is to receive, and agudu is to give. So, for example, if someone said, I will give you a present, using presento, it would go over here. Hi. Presento o ageru. Hi. And who and what would she say? She would say presento o kureru. Perfect. So that's a really fun thing in Japanese of how kuru and agiru just insinuates who is getting the action done to them. Um this let's go read uh this sentence. Kozen nagara machutsushi wa chikara ni natta. Naturally, the magician become power, become the help. Yes, exactly. And actually the magician's help. So I'm guessing you do know how this first kanji is read. How do you think it's read? Joko. Good guess. It's actually onna in this context. Onna. Onna. Hi. Koshaku. Yes, onna koshaku. This is how you say duchess. So koshaku is the duke, but onna koshaku is a female duke. A duchess. Onna koshaku. Hi, 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 hi. So what you can do in Japanese with that kuriru and agiru is to have it after te form to insinuate whether or not you benefit from this action. For example, can you read this sentence for me? Onna koga koshaku wa chikara ni natte kureta. What do you think this means? It means uh, here, so sen is kureta, the onna koshaka shaku is receiving the chikara ni natte. Hi, that's a really good it's guess. So this is a really interesting about Japanese, about the difference between kureru, ageru, and the third one, which is morao, which we're not totally learning right now. Kureru can only be used in the first person. You can't really say somebody kuredu. You can't say that. It sounds weird. Kuredu is like saying, thank you for doing this action for me. So this means right here at this sentence, there is somebody saying this sentence. Somebody said, onna koushaku wa chikara ni natte kuredu. Which means that the duchess became power and I benefited from this. It doesn't necessarily mean she did it for me, though that is a little bit insinuated. But it literally just means, thank you, Duchess, you became power. So uh, it, it's like a way to insinuate thanks. So for some reason, the Duchess becoming power, the Duchess being helpful, is affecting whoever is saying the sentence out loud. I so see. if you said, agiru can be in the third person. So you could, if you said agiru here, it could be theoretically possible, or it could be like forcing to touch his past. But could it do? Is only in the first person. Um. Uh, what? Yeah. Kureru. To receive something, you benefit. Kurenai. Hi, kurenai. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the sentence from the book. Tozen nagara, onna koshaku wa, nan no chikara no ni. Hi. My hand is that this is like a diss right here. <laughs> Nano. 
何の力にもなってくれない。So it said, naturally,、um, the Duchess, 何の力にも、meaning,、uh, even with some sort of power, なってくれない。She wasn't able to, to be of help. Hi,、nice. so、the word able is not in this sentence.、Uh, she did not help. Yes. So this is saying, naturally, the Duchess is no help at all.、Sure、she, she will, that is not to do it. I do not benefit from her.、Um, so this did not occur. I did not get chikara. And it says, nan no, chika, nan no chikara mo. So, mo with a question word is like none at all, right? Or all, right? So, nan no chikara ni mo, natte, would mean she became all the power,、uh, which you wouldn't really hear very often.、Right. But when you have, you know, question word with mo and then a negative verb at the end, it means nothing at all, basically, like, dare ni mo i nai, for example. Dare ni mo. Nine means there's nobody any, here.、But、any、oh, help. Yeah. So she's not any help at all. <laughs> Naturally, absolute dis. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So she's no help at all. So ridiculous. Why is he talking bad about her? So, so. <laughs> so, Morao. Morao is commonly used in the third person when you want to say someone received something. When you use it in the first person, it tends to have a little bit of a selfish meaning.、Uh, for example, if you're just going to take it of your own, like you're just like, it's going to be mine, you'd say, yeah, I'm going to morao this.、Um, you just <laughs> take it for your own thing. It's literally saying, I'll receive this, but it has a little bit、um, saying, I'm like, I'm, I'm doing something selfish here. It's like katteni, if you know what that word means. Katteni. Katteni. Yeah.、Ni. So, morale kind of has that little bit connotation.、Um, it's being used in the next book, I think,、um, contextually to be kind of like, I'm selfishly asking to receive this from you rather than、um, being like, would you do this?、Uh, but yeah, in general, if you want to ask someone to do something, it's more, of, more likely to use kude do. Because that's like, thank you, I would totally benefit from this versus morale, which is like, I'm being selfish right now. So it just has slightly different、um, connotations. Hi, morale. And our next word is kiki. This is crisis. Kiki.、Um, so morale. So, right now, I want you to make morao into tai form, which is want form. For example, modoru turns into modori tai. E, e. Okay. Turn it into the e form. So, morai tai. Hi, perfect. Morai tai. Yep, that means I want to receive. I want to selfishly receive something. This word started with ki. What is it? And what? Ki. What did Kiki mean? Kiki mean crisis. Perfect.、Um, so, what do you think should go in here if I said I want to receive a magical stone?、Mm. Sekyo, Perfect. Yep. Our next word is Kimsudu. Kimsudu is to be on the verge of. Kimsudu. Kimsudu. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Machiwa kikini hinsuru. The town is on the verge of crisis. Perfect. Nice. Our next word is sku. This is to save. Sku. sku.、Um, this ended with ki. What did it start with? Ki.、Uh, can you read this for me? Neburi wa machio. Sukuta. Save the town. Nebri, save the town. Perfect.、Um, can you read this for me? Kikini hinsta machi. 
the crisis on the verge town, the town that is on the verge of crisis. Perfect. Yeah. Relative clause that. Do you know what Tame meant? Tame. For the sake of, for the purpose yes. of. Yep. Or because, depending on the context. Uh, next is Zehi. Zehi means like for sure or certainly, kind of like tools in Nagara, but not <laughs> pretty different. Uh, Zehi, for sure. Zehi. Zehi. Is the first character of Zehi of Ashi, as in the foot or a leg or something? It looks like Ashi, but it is not. Ashi is different. I'll pack it up for you. As you can see right here, pretty similar. They both got that little thing and this guy, but these two parts are pretty different. I different uh, so it has day in it and i'm guessing it's like below day or something Z um, okay Z Z so Z let's go read the sentence hi kiki ni hin shita we metto o suku tame ni zehi mo dotte Kite morai tai. Kiki ni shita we meto o the we met that is on the verge of crisis. Shukuta tame ni for the purpose of saving it. Zehi modote kite. Kite, kite as in like kite is the te form of kuru. Right. So for the purpose of returning to, to uh, oh, definitely, by all means, return. Uh, I want you to return. Hi, right, exactly. So the kite isn't really adding anything you can really translate into English. It's just saying he's returning to a location where Brambi is, is in, because Brambi lives in Wurumetto. So if he didn't have, like, he said, Wodote. Ite, for example, that would insinuate Brownbee's like, go home to Wilmet, Debody. I'm over in, in Seattle, though, or something like Brownbee would be like, not in Wittemet if you had something else in here. But because Brownbee is in Wittemet, though, he has to use Kite because nobody would be getting closer to where nobody is physically in a location. So hey. returning to this location. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yep. So I wish to receive this. What I think. Uh, our next word is actually it is our halfway point. So I'll do that first. 